to show you guys how to figure out how many flowers and greenery you need to order in order to DIY your own flower arrangements using this handy calculator. So I just have it here, some basic information. You will want to make sure you have delivery three days before your event, so that would be a Wednesday for a Saturday event. I have on the left here a couple items that are common to create it, and then in this column B here, I have a spot where you can just enter however many you want to do. So you can just plug in those numbers, and then if you don't want any, just put in a zero. So specifically for bud base decor, it depends on how many you want to have per table. So if you have an eight foot table, you need to have double um, ish if you had a four foot table. People generally put three to five bud bases per table. So I'm going to just put in here an example that I'm going to have 50 bud bases for my table arrangements. So in column C, I've pre-populated in a formula that will calculate down to here how many stems of flowers and greenery you would need in order to make these arrangements. I also have a contingency section here that automatically populates and so this is a little bit extra flowers in case a stem breaks when you're arranging or maybe you decide that you love your bouquet so much you want to make it a little bit bigger so that way you just have a little bit extra in there for you. So when you uh, calculate this all up it comes to 378 stems of flowers and 15.6 bunches of greenery. We don't sell in a 0.6 bunch so you just round up. So this one needs about 378 stems of uh, flowers and about 15 bunches of greenery. So I've just got a couple info photos here of sort of a peachy white theme and a proposed recipe here. So when you're choosing what flowers to put in, you can choose whatever strikes your fancy, but I suggest having a minimum of five flowers that's in your recipe. This one obviously has way more, so I was trying to go for a really diverse look like in this photo here with a lot of different textures and shapes, but you'll need a minimum of five different types of flowers. I also try to do a mix of sizes, so the wax flower is a small sized flower and then the roses are quite large and then status is kind of an in-between size. So I like to pick a variety of shapes and sizes. Even if in this example, they're all peachy white, I still am having quite a variety to get that really nice mix of flowers. So in this calculation here, um, all our flower stem counts are written here. So all our flowers come in bunches of 10, except for roses and carnations, which come in bunches of 25. So I've got that spec'd out here. The terracotta and white carnations are 25 stems here and then the roses as well are 25 stems per bunch, the rest are 10. So in this formula here, all of this adds up to 305 stems of flowers. So if I go up here, I need 378, so I need to add a few more. So let's just add in a few bunches more until we get up to that 378 or close to 378. Um, because roses come in bunches of 25, you can quickly kind of go over that amount. So I'm just going to stick with the 10 stem length. So we're at 355. I need to go a little bit higher. There we go. So we're at 375. That's pretty close to 378. So the cost here is 1565. I have a second recipe here that is the same color vibe, but it's flowers that are more cost effective. So the main thing I do here to save money for folks is to switch out roses for carnations. So I have some mini carnations in here, and then I don't have those big roses, which can add some cost associated with it. I also rely a lot on mums. So I have pom-pom mums as well as dibs by mums. Those are also quite affordable when I'm trying to keep uh, cost down. So same idea here is you have to keep adding till you get to your 375-ish in this part that I just put yellow. Then of course we need to have in greenery. So you can pick whatever greenery strikes your fancy. The most popular ones I find are people really like Salal, Parvifolia, Eucalyptus, Silver Dollar Eucalyptus, and Italian Rustus. You can choose whatever you want, but having like three different types is kind of a good rule of thumb. If you want to have five, like in this example, that's totally fine, just as long as you have sort of three 
So this one here has your total of inches of 21, but we need only 15. So we can just go in here and start lowering the count until we get to 15. So this will give you now the quantities of greens and flowers. And then in here is a calculation that tells you how much the cost will be for option one and option two. Option two, I didn't actually tinker with the quantities to match. So that actually isn't going to always match up. But this is how you figure out the quantity that you need just to think about this equation. So now I'm just showing you guys this package here. So this is the Eucalyptus and Lace package. It gives you a color vibe like long leaves of one, uh, lots of lights, but like I mentioned, the different sizes here. So it's some high pair, some with just the berry looking ones, and the wax file, which is small, with the bigger roses to give that nice texture, and then the lots of green and red. So if you're trying to figure out quantity wise, again, it's just kind of a math exercise here. So these white roses, there's 25 stems. The Lysianthus, there's two bunches of 20, so that would be 40 stems of flowers. Add in those white sparrows, that's another 40, so we're at 80. Then add in this white wax flower and hypericum, that would be 80, 90, 100. 125 stems of flowers is how many we get in this bridal party package, so 125 stems. So if we go back to our calculations here, we need in this one 378 stems, so that package that I showed you would not be even close to how many we would need. And the reason why this package needs so many flowers in this example is because it is bud bay with like 50 bud bay quite a bit of flowers in it. So that's how I'm checking like compared to my package here. I'm just adding up this math here to get to my stem count. The regular bridal party package and the budget bridal package have quite similar stem counts. The idea is just this one is less a little bit cheaper, but then we were in micro package, it's quite substantially less. So an offer you could do if you're adding this up and you're like, oh, I need to have 378 stems, but this package only has 125 stems. You could order two of this package or an option could be just to go into shop and then you can click on bulk flowers and then you can just buy them just directly here. So then you can pick, okay, so I like Hypericum and white. So now I'm just gonna go in here and add white hypericum. And I'll know that it's 10 stems a bunch. I'm just gonna add in some of those to my cart until I get to that stem count that I need. So hopefully that teaches you guys how to do the math associated with how many flowers you need in order to make a DIY wedding ring. Let me know if you have questions.